Ryo Gumate will help the students learn the movement of fighting in an ordered way. As he progresses through the grades, all the main points of karate sparring are practiced within the eight Oyogumite techniques. Distancing and timing are extremely important in fighting, and students should study this with great seriousness. Number one introduces you to Ashibare foot sweeps, used many times in fighting. It is preceded by a punch to the face and body. The defender should step back sharply and block Shuto. Number two is an excellent attacking movement and gives the student a chance to practice hooking the opponent's leg, thereby unbalancing him. Hooking the inside or outside of a leg, especially against a larger opponent, can be exceptionally effective. A point to study carefully in number two is the transfer of your weight quickly from the front to the back foot. This movement should be done flowingly so as not to give your opponent an opportunity to counter-attack. Step forward and punch once to the face and once to the body. An important point to bear in mind is to keep your body upright as you finish the second punch. Some students have a tendency to anticipate the move in for the throw. You must move at the last split second.
Your left hand grabs the back of your attacker's knee, your right hand across the body. Twist your hip and body as you throw him down. It is important that you move your knee around so your opponent does not land on it, as this would be dangerous. This technique is an excellent way of practicing the Iraq and back fist strike and knee and elbow strikes. The first movement must be done fast so as your opponent has not time to counter your Arakan, which is aimed for the temple. Your right hand must follow up fast to cover as you go to punch Kakazuki. Grabbing your opponent's left shoulder, pull him down onto your upcoming knee and finish off with a strike with your right elbow to the neck. Block Yuchi UK, forearm block, as your attacker steps forward and punches Gakazuki. Your attacker then performs Surikomi Megeri, one step front kick. Sweep his foot away and counter attack with Haito Ridge Hand to the body. Your body should be kept down during the Haito strike. Using the momentum of your body as you rise up, 
strike to the temple with your akun. Dropping your body at the same time, grab your opponent's right shoulder. Sweep this leg with your hand, pulling him down simultaneously. Finish by a strike to the face. This technique practices kicking, punching and hooking in combination. After punching Gakazuki to the face, hook the right foot forward and attack with a roundhouse kick to the body. The first movement of this technique should be performed as fast as possible. Study the feet movement during this technique as it is extremely important in having a successful outcome. The defender blocks with the side of his hand, using the back hand, not the front, for these first two blocks. The defender then immediately attacks with a front kick. Sweep away his foot and counter with a Gakazuki. Grab your opponent's right shoulder moving up well behind him, pull back simultaneously and balancing him by shoving the sole of your foot into the back of his leg. You must make sure you move well up behind him on this movement. This technique gives the student practice on the sweeping and back kick.
The first movement is a hook followed by a sweep. After turning from the back kick, you should cover your opponent's left front arm with your right hand. Finish the technique off with a gakazuki to the body. I have demonstrated on this video some of my favorite fighting moves. Before doing them at full speed, you must practice hard with a partner to master the timing and distancing. Body movement is also very important, especially with the throwing techniques. Care should be taken when you practice all karate moves, but especially throwing techniques. If you have a mat to practice on, they should be used where possible. Your body should be kept low, as this will greatly assist you during your turning movement. Keep your head down to avoid the punch. Move your head away and punch to the floating rib. Note that you have around 60 to 70% of your body weight on your front leg. This will greatly increase the power of the punch at impact. Move your body out of the attacker's way, countering with Haito to the face. Your right hand covers the attacker's incoming punch. Note the stance on this defence. Inside sweeps and outside sweeps are one of the most effective defences against incoming front kicks and punches. Timing is of the utmost importance in all fighting moves, but in particular sweeps. If you're able to catch your opponent as his foot is just beginning to come down after a kick, it'll be very easy for you to unbalance him. This should be studied well.
This is the outside sweep. Pull and sweep the leg with your hand. This move is a very effective defense, but care should be taken that your opponent is not injured while practicing it. You will note that on the video that you sweep your opponent's back leg simultaneously, grabbing his arm and back of the neck. Note as you move forward, you should cover his front hand with your left hand. Your right hand then immediately grabs your opponent's arm, followed by a sweep.
Perform the Ashibarai foot sweep simultaneously grabbing your attacker's left arm. Using your left arm as a support in your opponent, as you jump in placing your left leg at the front of your attacker's body and your right leg at the back. Pull with your left arm backwards and balancing your opponent and finish off with a strike to the face. Move inside your attacker's punch and counter with a block and punch to the face. Grab your opponent's shoulder and knee into his groin. Note the position of the left foot. This is used to trip him as you throw your opponent over. Finish off by striking to the neck with your foot. <laughs> 